It's finally game week. The nearly eight month wait is almost over for Tennessee. Anticipation is high in Knoxville for what could be the year that the Vols return to relevance in the SEC. I think we're ready. Um, I think we have, a, we have a good attitude going into uh, week one. Everyone feels confident. Um, everyone's just ready to play. This will be the first full game of blocking and tackling, being able to sustain blocks, how your young players are going to perform, your special teams, so just about anything and everything uh, because you don't know. And after Saturday night, I'll have a little bit of a gauge of where we're at uh, with this football team. The Vols open up with what is technically a neutral site game in Nashville. And while their opponent might not have national acclaim, Bowling Green does have Tennessee's respect. I've looked at them a lot. Uh, those guys make plays with the ball, and um, you know they block for each other well on the perimeter. They make guys, make guys miss the open space. So you have to do a great job of our leverage and um, tackling the open space. You know, um, and just continue to put hat on those guys throughout the course of the game. And don't underestimate the impact that a game like this one could have on recruiting. Some of Tennessee's best players come from the mid-state, and putting the season opener in Nashville instead of here in Knoxville. That allows Butch Jones to make a first-hand impression on prospects for the class of 2016 and beyond. For Campus Insiders, I'm Mark Nagy.